okay guys so we're gonna get right into it this patio makeover is long overdue i've kind of been sitting on this for some time now and just really been wanting to get this space together to have somewhere outside the house that we can hang out kick it and you know just not be in the house all the time okay so um right here we are just trying to figure out the pressure washer neither one of us have used a pressure washer before so so we were just trying to get this together i got this off of amazon like maybe black friday 2020 something like that or maybe 2019 and i never got it off the box so we're just looking at the instructions trying to get it together trying to clean the space out before putting the funnel. Okay, you guys, so we just finished pressure washing everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry and hopefully it looks good tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I do feel like we got a lot of dirt off of things. This is our first pressure wash, so, you know, I feel like it'll do the job. So we're gonna figure out how to wind up all this dang on cord here. And then we're done, we're about to eat dinner. We ended up getting some Jamaican food. We already started eating in it. So, are these for me? Is this one? I'm gonna ox tail. Y'all already started eating in my plate. That's what I have. Got some oxtail festival, rice and peas, and we had some tropical. We ain't got no chicken buck. <laughs> chicken buck. Um, and then this tropical rhythms. I got reggae melody and he got the mango carrot and then froze it up. And then he got some curry goat in the microwave. Okay, you guys, see you guys at the next step of our process. So 
Okay, you guys, so I am so grateful because at the time that I purchased this sectional, it came with free assembly. So this is, um, I guess, one of their contractors, um, an Amazon assembly man who is assembling this for free for us. So yeah, I don't know how long this would have took us on our own, but um, he did it probably in about an hour and a half. So, yeah, if it was us two, it probably would have been five to six hours, something like that. So, I am so grateful that I had him for this portion. Okay, you guys, so the sun is kind of harsh, so it's hard for me to show you exactly what it looks like because we have a lot of shadows and stuff, but I'm liking how it looks so far. Um, they are nice and firm, but they feel comfortable. I sat on one of them, um, and now I'm going to do the back pillows. Um, I did see some people, like on Amazon, because I did get this set from Amazon, I saw some people... Um, Theirs look a lot flatter, and I think it's because they didn't allow it to fully expand. The guy who um, installed this, he was like, don't put it on right away. Let it expand at least seven hours. But I left mine out here for two days so that it can fully get firm and not look like flat and stuff. So, like, it fit on there. At first, I thought that these wouldn't even fit on there because it was so firm um, or fit on there so well. So, I'm really happy with that, that it doesn't look like super flat so um another reason that i picked up the set is because these um back pillows they have um ties on it so i'm hoping that that keeps them in place and that they're not moving around and shifting around and if you know with patio furniture these oh and the back of these have velcro on it too to help them stay in place um they there were cheaper ones out there but they all had comments on there saying that the wind was blowing them away that the back wasn't staying on there and all that stuff so um i just was like you know what it's worth spending the money to actually you know have some peace of mind and that they actually stay in place so i really like the tie feature i hope that it does work so now i'm gonna go ahead and put the back pillows on there but yeah i'm liking it so far um you know what i could bring it closer so that it's more in the shade so i don't have to worry so much about like sun damage with the pillows and stuff but this is a really small patio so i feel like if i have it closer it might look a little you know you know i don't know we'll figure it out um eventually just right now i'm just trying to get the pillows on here so we can you know see what's going on okay so yeah let's go ahead and finish
you know what you guys I'm thinking before I put all the back pillows on I'm going to spray all of the cushions with this Scotch Guard outdoor sun and water shield um, just because you know the part that is covered with the back pillow I don't want that part to fade on its own and the rest of it be protected so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick spray right now because the sun is beaming girl it's like winter is not around the corner okay it's like dang near 80 90 degrees or at least it feels like it <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give the cushions a quick spray with this just went and got a rag just in case any of this gets on the furniture it says to quickly wipe it up so just want to be careful So now that our main furniture piece is assembled, we're going to get into everything else that is going to pull this space together. And I couldn't have done this without what I've learned and the tips that I've taken from interior design classes on Skillshare. If this is your first time hearing of them, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. If you're interested in learning a new skill, they have classes from bettering your TikTok to entrepreneurship. Personally, I wanted to join Skillshare because I wanted to invest in myself and my personal goal. I feel that Skillshare will help me level up in 2022, especially when it comes to making better content for you guys. One class that I've taken and recommend is Interior Design, Hollywood Chic on a Human Budget by Michael Welch. I wanted to take this class because honestly, I do not have an interior design bone in my body, but I know the look that I like and the look that I want. I just need to know how to execute it. One key tip that I took away from this interior design class is that long drapes add luxury to any space. You want your drapes to go from ceiling to floor, and if needed, you can have them hemmed at your local cleaners for less than $10 instead of paying an arm and a leg for custom drapes. So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Skillshare. I've learned so much from their classes. It's super affordable and fun. I will be sure to leave the link in the description box below for you guys. Also, the first thousand people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore your creativity and learn more about the topics that interest you. Special thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video.
okay you guys so don't mind me I'm looking like I'm looking okay um but I am super excited because everything is starting to come together oh my goodness I'm so happy it was super easy to put that table set together you just pretty much take everything out of the box and screw the legs on that was pretty much the entire thing so I was very happy about that that was super easy that's enough for today's work um the next thing that we want to add out here is um I have a rug to put down because a lot of the stains it didn't come up with pressure washing it's just stuff that's been here for years it's rust stains all kind of stuff so um we're gonna have a we're gonna put an area rug down here that's gonna cover up the majority of it and we have a couple more things to add but yeah this is what has been done in a day's work this is what's been done so far and i'm already happy i cannot wait to the finished product <laughs> okay so we do have a fire pit and hopefully we can get this together ourselves and get it right okay so it's a 30 by 30 glass top black um fireplace i got this from amazon i'll be sure to link it below i pretty much got almost everything from amazon i think i'll link everything if you might be interested but yeah you guys this is the fire pit i'm really excited for it so i hope that it really does work out for this space <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we had to stop the installation or the putting together of our fire pit because my son, I had to pick my son up from school. Then when we were out, we were like, okay, well, we might as well go pick up the propane tank so that we can just test everything out all today and I have to do it on a separate day. However, the instructions are saying that we need a 20 pound propane tank and all of the standard ones that you like always see those are 15 pounds so i thought that the 15 pound one was the standard one and i didn't know you know like we weren't sure if we get the 15 one will it hook up to the hose that's on this fire pit so we didn't even pick it up so there's a phone number on the um in, on the instruction manual that we're gonna just um see what's happening we're going to call them and see if we can use a smaller one instead of the 20 pound one because we went to home depot we went to 7-eleven went to circle k um the only place that we didn't go to was lowe's so this is currently where we're at with the fire pit um it doesn't seem like it's that much left anyway though um we just have to put on the front door to it and then after that i think it's primarily just hooking up the propane tank once we do that portion so yeah we're just going to finish that off tonight and then i'm going to give them a call tomorrow to see if we could do the 15 pound tank instead of the 21 and then we'll just take it from there but yes you guys i just want to give a little explanation just in case because it just fully got dark on us and that's why we've been pretty much gone we stopped here and then we've been gone for maybe like two hours so yes you guys but i'm excited it's a good size it's not too too big because the space is really small so i was really worried about it um maybe like overwhelming the space so i'm really hoping that it doesn't we shall see but yes you guys that's my little mini disclaimer
Okay, you guys, so it's actually raining right now. Um, so we'll see how everything holds up. I did not expect it to rain before I showed you guys the reveal, but this is outdoor fabric. We sprayed it, so hopefully it holds up. It looks like the water is just sitting on top as of right now, so hopefully that is the case. And it doesn't do any discoloring or anything like that. Yeah, you guys. I am excited for the rain, though. Super excited for that. And, yeah. Our table. Um, I'm going to call the company today to see about the propane tank. And then probably have to just give everything a wipe down. You know. Once it does stop raining. Yeah, you guys. I'm so excited. Like. You guys have literally no idea how long I was supposed to be doing this, like, forever. And I just, I never did it, so, you know, I'm just happy right now. Um, what else am I going to say? I was going to do the drapes today, or try to put up some drapes today, but since it's wet, it's like, no use, because I was going to use command hooks or whatever to put it up and just with the water and everything I'm just wait till everything dries out and we just got a few more things to do and then we will be done with this project but I just want to show you guys the rain and hopefully everything bounces back good <laughs> okay you guys so I believe it's the next day and it is so freaking freezing I got up and there's ice all over my lawn well this is my neighbor's lawn this is mine <sighs> y'all when i say frozen it is frozen okay i think mine is the only one that's not frozen but my windshield is on my car fully frozen <sighs> y'all it is cold and i don't play that about the coldness you understand but I say all that to say I was gonna hang the drapes today but I'm just thinking in this weather will I have it have problems with it sticking the command strips um I'm gonna wait a little bit until like later in the afternoon to try to see if it warms up a bit and then try to stick it during that time because I do know they have some type of degrees or whatever like that you should that's optimal or that you shouldn't hang it at so I'm gonna check that out and as far as the sectional it performed well in the rain like it looks pretty much the same um, I just whenever I would see water just right on top of it like a big puddle of water sometimes I would just come and wipe it down if it wasn't raining anymore um, but that was pretty much it and it looks pretty much the same um, and another thing that I did was once it stopped raining, I just resprayed it again with the um, the outdoor shield. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get a cover for this because this came with a cover. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a cover for this just to keep it protected when we're not using it. But oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I cannot wait until everything is done. And yes, you guys, so maybe we'll do a project. Maybe we won't. <laughs> it just depends on the weather right now. But I really want to get this done, y'all, because once we get this fire pit together, then we will warm up the space and we can hang out here more. Because me and Bae, <laughs> we just come out here and be like, okay, tell them to go back in the house, okay? <laughs> Freezing, okay? And what's so funny is that... I guess maybe because I'm from California, he's from Jamaica, we're just not used 
to the cold cold because we were freezing like when I say freezing one day I was like let me just check and see what the weather is girl whoa it's 53 I said wait a minute there is no way that it is 53 right now like there's literally no way and I was like I could have swore it was like 20 degrees so people on the east coast are people just dealing with zero degree weather and 15 degree twenty. Oh, my heart goes out to you <laughs> about the coldness, okay? But all right, you guys, I'll come back on our next whatever I end up doing next. <laughs> oh, and then I also wanted to show you guys these rods that I got from Dee Dee's Discount that I'm so happy about. Girl, first of all, I was looking um, on Amazon for some rods that weren't too thick. I was looking for the 5 8 inch, but I would have went with a half inch as well and girl all of them were like 20 something dollars each I went to um, I saw somebody on Pinterest refer um, people to a Walmart one but that one was out of stock like in all stores um, so I went to Walmart and all they had was like the one inch big thick ones and those were like $15 each and that's not a bad price I'm not tripping off the price but it was just too big to sit inside some command hooks so I feel like this is the perfect size to just put the command hooks up and you know drop this in there there is a half inch diameter and it's 48 to 84 inches and y'all look at the price <laughs> $6.99 okay and they're actually really pretty and I felt they're like that rubbed bronze like brown black type of color which matches the um, outdoor furniture so yeah I'm super excited about that and um, I'll show you guys the rest when it's time to put up the um, the drapes but y'all I'm loving it so far I truly truly am okay you guys so it has been a couple of days and today I'm going to attempt to hang the drapes um, what I will be using for this is some a five pound command strip hooks um, yeah the five pound one and then I don't know I think I showed you guys previously but I got these drapes um these drapery rods they're 48 by 84 inches and it's a half inch diameter so it's pretty small i'm hoping that it will fit inside of the command hooks so that i can just put the command hooks up and then sit the rod inside of it and then call it a day and then the drapes that i'm going to be using i saw this on pinterest which i really hope this works out for me but it's these little I don't even know if they're considered drapes. Um, I don't even know if they're considered drapes. Um, I believe they're, yeah, they are drapes because it has pictures up here. But it's kind of like mosquito net material. And people said that it is really good at keeping bugs out as well if you close it up. So the way I plan to have it is just you know where I can close it up if I want to or whatever so so yeah that's that pretty much so I have I think I don't know if this has one or two panels but I rarely use command strips so I'm just really hoping that they work for outdoors and that I apply everything correctly I'm not gonna use a level or anything like that because that's really just how I am <laughs> so yes you guys that's all my materials and yeah let's go ahead and try to get this together
okay you guys so our drapes are up and they are looking so beautiful and i'm so happy um but the it is pretty windy so they are kind of flying everywhere so i picked up this rope it's really pretty chunky rope from a dollar tree and i just put it on the post here to keep them in place when you know I don't want them closed up or just free because you see that one is just all the way stuck to a tree right now so I picked this up to see how it would look and it actually looks really pretty and I feel like it looks more expensive than it actually is it's only a book so yeah I'm gonna go ahead I only have two of them right now so I'm gonna close up the two close up the ones I can and then I'm gonna buy two more and do the rest and you'll see it in the final reveal I mean, y'all i'm getting excited and then here in this space um i really want to put a tv in kind of like an entertainment little center here um but for the meantime i just went ahead and got this card table because i feel like it will get its uses i needed some extra chairs anyway when people come over to sit down and to eat and you know my family likes to play games and stuff like that so i thought this would be perfect for you know just if you if they wanted to play any spades or any type of games we have a little area for that because you know of course our sectional area we probably wouldn't be able to play cards that well so i just have this off to the side just in case anybody wants to play some cards or dominoes or something of that sort and yeah you guys now i'm gonna try to do the um patio lights and then just put some finishing touches on it probably tomorrow because it's already it looks like it's about to rain it's only like four and it's freezing out here so i'm gonna try to see if we could put the lights up and tonight and then tomorrow I'll finish everything up and that'll pretty much be it and you'll see the final reveal so yeah you guys i'm getting excited it feels cozy we already sp um stayed out here last night and hung out and tried out the fireplace and it was really nice so yes you guys okay you guys so I don't know if this is going to work because these are the lights I got. Um, I did get them on Black Friday on Amazon, but they are really heavy. They're heavier than I thought. So the little clips that I bought, it said it's for outdoor lights, but I don't know how much it holds. And I don't know if it's because I'm holding all of it at one time that it feels so heavy, but this doesn't feel like the clips that I got would be able to support it. So I'm not sure. Let's see, I don't know what I do with the clips. Find it. But here are the light bulbs. These have really good reviews. <coughs> and the light bulbs are plastic, so that they, you know, won't break or whatever. But supposedly they give off really good light. This is them. And they're little mini bulbs. And this is what it looks like. So I was thinking we could go back and forth like this. Like boom, boom, skip this and somehow go over here. Boom, boom, because we don't want it to hit the... have one that's kind of I don't want it to block in the fan so we're just putting like an extra hook up there so that way it's out of the way of the fan and then we're just kind of going in a crisscross diagonal formation and yeah I'm about to try to do the rest of it right now it's coming together Oh, 
Okay, you guys. So I was worried about the lights the most, and it actually wasn't that hard to put up. The command strips made everything easy, and then we were able to also just string them in a way that it didn't block the fan as well so i'm super happy about this because the, the two things that i was the most worried about were hanging the drapes and then also doing the patio lights and those command strips really came in handy they both i mean it, they did a great job and it's worth the money i know sometimes it's like ten dollars but it is so worth the money i'm so happy the space looks so beautiful already and uh, we're probably going to add the last little finishing touches to it tomorrow. And then we'll have our final reveal. But yes, you guys. We got our lights up. for this space is the vivo home outdoor patio heater this item is also available on amazon and as you guys can see it's a running theme going on most of these items are from amazon and it's just something that we wanted to pick up just in case um, we didn't want to use the fire pit or if someone was sitting away from the fire pit it's fully electric it heats up literally in three seconds it's designed with three adjustable heating modes and when i say that it gets hot it gets hot sometimes we have to turn it down so i definitely recommend it i will be sure to link it down below for you guys as well okay you guys oh my goodness everything is starting to come together i want to show the whole thing yet because tomorrow i'm just going to put the finishing touches on everything and then we're pretty much done okay and um y'all i'm so happy for this heater like i'm so so happy for it because if i don't want to put the propane on i could just throw this on really quick plug it up and I have instant heat so I'm so happy about that and then also if anybody is not close like let's just say the card table for instance if anybody is not close to the propane to the fire pit then you know they have that heat as well so that's an awesome thing and y'all the rug is absolutely beautiful oh my gosh I got this from Target some months ago y'all I've been getting piece by piece on this for some time now so i don't know if it's still available but everything that i got here i love everything i love like oh my gosh like that has not happened to me in a while where i bought different pieces at different times separately and then it all came together just so perfectly and looks so damn good oh my gosh i'm so happy so yeah you guys tomorrow is the final day i'm gonna go ahead and you know put my little decorative pillows up i think i only got like two girl <laughs> bless it <laughs> i'm not really huge on you know decor but i can find some inspo and then find stuff that i really like but i'm so happy right now yes you guys so this is where we're at right now and yeah we'll have everything finished up next time you see me okay you guys so just a quick little update the last time i filmed a clip for this makeover was well over a month ago um right when we were gonna do like the little finishing touches and do the reveal 
girl was a rainstorm for like a week and a half then after i think it was like christmas and i felt like the rug was kind of soaked and it wasn't showing like the true color it was just all kind of mess going on so i just just said forget it and we had been using it how it was without doing a final reveal or anything like that so i was like you know what i need to film this before it starts looking like you know like used um and stuff like that so that's why i am back to go ahead and finish this up in the meantime since it had been raining so much i did purchase a cover from amazon and i'll show you guys the cover so the fireplace came with a cover already which was nice and then um i purchased a separate cover a separate cover um on amazon i feel like it's been doing its job so i haven't seen what it looks like underneath here for about i don't know some weeks or whatever so i'm just gonna start just trying to wipe off the tables and just show you guys what we came up with because we are really proud of this space bay is out here every single day of his life okay this is his favorite spot and place and then for me i come out here to you know hang with him and stuff so yeah you guys let's go ahead and finish this makeover up So I got these super cute pillow inserts from Amazon. I think I got these during Black Friday sale. So they were super, super affordable at the time that I got them. And I thought that they were so freaking cute. Um, <clears throat> I think I have a 20 by 20 insert inside of this one. And y'all, I'm looking for my other insert and I cannot find it anywhere okay so i'm about to search high and low for that so that i can do my second pillow of another one that's just like this one super super cute um and then this is my next one i got this one i believe from amazon as well so remember i will try to link everything that i got in the description box below for you guys and this one is for like it's a pom-pom type of pillow. I got, um, where's the insert thing? Oh, okay, the zipper's right there. Okay, so, um, the insert, oh, I think this might be too, too small. I'm gonna try to squeeze it in here, but I have like an old dirty pillow here that I'm gonna try to use for the insert, if not. I think I might have another one in the garage, so we will see. And y'all just have this on because it's so cold. It's my favorite oversized sweater from Pretty Little Thing. So let me go ahead and try to see if I can squeeze this in there. able to stuff it in there and oh my gosh it is so cute it's soft it feels kind of like a velvety like microfiber type of material and y'all this was super super affordable and two comes in the pack that i got <laughs> 